your books are not on tally it takes a lot of time to audit can you transfer this data to tally and then i can quickly audit and give it to you this software this is not as easy as tally hi everyone this is nikita and welcome to my channel so many times we've heard our auditors say that listen i don't want to audit your books on zoho books because i don't know how zoho works tally is so much easy can you just get a tool where i can transfer all the data to tally and then do the audit well it's a lot of hassle for the client because they are maintaining on zoho because it's easy for them and then the auditor says that no no i want tally so my aim in this video is to make it easy for all the auditors out there i want to make you believe that you can audit on zoho books trust me i run my entire ca practice on zoho books all my clients are on the software and i audit all tax audits start audits everything i do them on zoho books so trust me when i say that no it's not at all tough it's just like any other accounting software it's just that if you know the user interface and you know how the software performs you will be in a better position to conduct the audit so stay tuned with me till the end of the video and i guarantee you will also come and tell me okay this is not as tough as i thought it was all right yes you have to go that extra step sometimes if you want to ensure that your client is also enjoying the software at the same time they are not facing that hiccup where the ca is saying that i don't want to audit on this new software i am a ca and i do so many audits on zoho books so here i am trying to help all my fellow ca's out there and trying to make you believe that yes we can audit using zoho books so let's begin hey if you still haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe to my channel it'll mean the world to me so what are we waiting for now let's begin some of the tips that i tell everyone when they're trying to audit on zoho books like one of the most important tip is that you can open several tabs you don't have to just you know uh, click on something and then click on back you can open several tabs so you click on control and click on the figure or click on the ledger that you want to open you can open multiple tabs while doing the audit so that makes life very easy let me show you how now one thing that really works well in cloud accounting is i can simply just say duplicate and it will open a duplicate tab you can open several tabs like that and keep so for example if i want to start with the audit what i can do is i can simply go to reports say balance sheet okay now let's say i want to conduct an audit of petty cash so what i can do is i can click on this petty cash i can keep my cursor on petty cash click on control and petty cash so what will happen it will open to a new tab and then i can audit this ledger okay so uh, one thing that you have to ensure that you're opening multiple tabs so that it becomes really uh, convenient for you to conduct the audit please don't do this like you know where i'm clicking on back constantly and then clicking on forward to go back to where i was that will waste a lot of time of yours okay so you can open multiple tabs now zoho is a cloud accounting solution which means you have real time access to clients books right so when they are giving you the books maybe you can request them that during the audit period they should not pass entry in the audit period that is the period for which you are conducting the audit uh, it also helps a lot that both of you have access to the same books because every time you are making changes it's getting updated in the clients books and then there is no duplication i don't want to have to send backup i don't have to receive backup nothing of that sort you can do it on real time basis you also have a very detailed audit trail of what went wrong now so many times this is not just an audit point so many times you are wondering as to who passed the entry why has this been done or this is such a mistake how did this happen what did we do immediately there is this option of comments and history for every transaction you can go and check which user did it and when was it done both of these who did it and when it was done really help you understand what happened in this transaction so if you were to understand the ui of the software it will be really easy for you to conduct audits all right so the main transactions that go through are through the sales and purchases module and the banking module okay now through the sales module you'll obviously find all the transactions of sales uh, and everything related to sales the cust sales the customers and sales returns now in zoho customers are not ledgers but they are statements 
So you can access customers and customer statements only under sales. Similarly, vendors can be accessed under purchases. There are no vendor ledgers, there are no customer ledgers. Statements itself are ledgers, okay? So if you were to go to a particular customer and if you were to go to statement, you will you can say this year and you can see the subsequent clearance of that customer. And if you say previous year, if you were auditing for the previous year, uh, and in, for that period, you can easily get the statements and these statements can be got in PDF in Excel. Now, an interesting audit point here is that if you were to send confirmations to these customers from within the software also, you can just simply choose which customers you want to send uh, these confirmations to and you can just say send customer statements. Okay. Now, suppose I was clicking on send customer statements. It's asking me the period, start date, end date, filter by all transactions, and then I can say send statements and your emails are scheduled to be sent in a few minutes. Now, if you want, you can also go to settings and change the email template for uh, these uh, emails. OK, so that you if you want the customers to actually, uh, you know, give you a confirmation, you can just uh, change this default template. Uh, you can go to share show mail content. OK. Uh, attached with this email is a list of all transactions. Kindly confirm by attaching a statement or sending a statement or confirming the balance. You can change this default template and then that message will go to all the customers who you want the statement from. So this is again an amazing feature. As and when you audit using Zoho, you will realize that you will keep learning new, new features like that. OK, so everything related to sales will happen in the sales module. Everything related to purchases will be under the purchases module, including the vendors, the bills, the expenses, uh, the vendor credits, which are nothing but returns. All right. So uh, again, you have to access vendor statements only through this vendors tab under purchases. And you can go to the respective vendor, go to statement and access. In fact, you can access all the transactions of the vendor. You just have to click on transactions, bill wise, payment wise, expense wise, uh, purchase order wise, everything can be accessed. One really important thing for you to know is reports. Okay. Now, when are you doing audits in Zoho Books? There is a different concept of ledgers and reports, all right? Reports will give you system generated reports for everything and anything that you need for your audit. We'll go through reports in detail, but please note, ledgers can be accessed separately, but a lot of the data can be available through reports also. So for example, if you're confused, there are too many transactions in the input CGST, IGST and SGST GLs, instead of having to go them one by one in the ledger portion, you go to the reports and go to this report of summary of inward supplies. This will give you a very good detailed breakup of or GST that has been charged on which invoice and how. Of course, if your client is passing too many journal entries, these reports become redundant. So we need to ensure that the reports are matching with the ledgers and they will match only if the client is not passing too many JVs. Now, the whole purpose of cloud accounting is not to pass too many journal entries. So yes, we need to ensure that the client has not passed journal in those ledgers. But reports work very well. Let me give you another example. TDS payable. Now, TDS payable, if you just access the ledger, it becomes too much to access and the scrutiny becomes difficult. You go to the TDS summary in the report section, get a section wise breakup of how much TDS was deducted under which section and which were the transactions. It's an amazing report. So use the reporting section to your advantage. Now, if you want to understand, let's say you want to understand sales. So you simply open sales by customer. Yes, your PNL should show the similar figure, okay? And uh, most of the cases, it will show the same figure. The client has maintained proper books, okay? So reports and ledgers can be taken simultaneously. So if the ledger is showing an X figure, you can simply go to the report. Let's say the ledger is showing a figure of 1 lakh sales. You can simply go to the report sales by customer and see how the sales were divided. It gives you a greater understanding and a greater level of comfort as to what were the transactions during the year. You know, when you're conducting audits, what's going to be really more important for you here is going to be chart of accounts and is going to be reports. 
chart of accounts are nothing but the ledgers okay like you get ledgers in tally like you get ledgers in any other accounting software sap oracle here you're going to get ledgers under chart of accounts okay so you can simply open any ledger you can say show more details and select the period for which you want this ledger once you've selected this period for every um, ledger that you open this will be the default period okay so now i can see i've opened one uh, ledger here while auditing each section sometimes you can take the help of reports as well so for example uh, i can simply um, uh, further receivables okay now it, i can see there's an accounts receivable if i click on this figure it will ask me do you want to open a customer balance summary report i'll open a customer balance summary report i'll simply get the breakup of what exactly is an accounts receivable receivable and then i can audit it now this is for accounts receivable okay you can uh, let's say you were doing it for the bank okay you want to see whether or not the client has reconciled the bank statements you can simply go to report section of zoho and under these reports you'll find various categories click on banking under banking you'll see reconciliation status so if the client has been reconciling you will find uh, the reconciled balances here of course another way to check is you directly check from the bank account and if it's matching you move on right uh, but even though if you want to look at the ledger in detail you simply click on this bank account on a new tab and you will see all the transactions that have been entered all right so this new tab thing really helps and like i said use ledgers as well as reports use them together to audit similarly for accounts payable also you will uh, have such information but like i said you have to ensure that ledgers and reports are being run parallelly so that you can audit larger clients easily for smaller clients you can just look at the ledger and understand what were the entries passed and are there any mistakes do you want to make changes but for larger clients where there are too many entries you want to use the reporting section to your benefit since we are dealing with cloud accounting a lot of transactions also happen at the back end that the software is passing on its own okay but these are all basic sales purchases transactions which you can get a comfort on if you just open any sales or purchase transaction let me show you how those journals actually look like Now, sometimes a common problem that everyone faces is unearned revenue and prepaid expenses. That is advanced to customers and advanced to vendors. So, unearned revenue, which is advanced to customers, how do you deal with this? Okay, you can go to the customer balances, find out whichever balances were negative, and see if it is matching with your unearned revenue ledger. You can also expect your client to give you a detail of advance to customers and advance to vendors and try to match it with these ledgers. In this case, how Zoho works is your receivables is shown separately and advance to customers is shown separately. It's not net off directly. These are two separate jails in the balance sheet. Your payables are shown separately. Advance to vendors is shown separately. They are not net off in the balance sheet. So these are appearing as separate line items and separate entry in your financials. Okay. But because you have this breakup, you have more understanding of the mistakes the client has probably made. So you can always reach out to the client and ask them if the prepaid expenses, which is nothing but the advance to vendor is appearing at a higher number than usually is, then you can reach out to the client. It makes it easier for you to audit. Now, there are some exceptional reports which are available very easily, like debtors aging and creditors aging reports. Now, recently that MSME rule came in where if you have not paid your MSME, any vendors within 45 days of the date of invoice and all uh, such vendors are pending as on 31st March, then whatever amount is unpaid will be disallowed in the tax order. So you can easily get these details from the vendor aging uh, available with your client. All right. So the reporting section will also make it easier for you to obtain such data. You don't have to go through one by one. You just have to get the aging report, find out which were the debtors which were outstanding for more than 45 days as on 31st March and disallow them if they were MSME registered. Now, similarly, if you want a detailed GST report of the entire year, there's a report called Summary of Outward Supplies. This will give you a detail of how GST was charged on output and it will also give you a breakup, transactions on which no GST was charged and whatever was taxable, what was the rate, what is the HSN summary, everything. 
okay now the generic reports like balance sheet pnl okay balance sheet schedule 3 balance uh, pnl schedule 3 all of these are easily available on the software in fact you can also set up and keep in your schedule 3 balance sheet which are the gls associated with which line item uh, you can do the accounts mapping and keep once so that every year it becomes very easy for you to get those financials yes there is one drawback that we don't get schedules within the software so that is something that you have to export and maintain on your own uh, but apart from that uh, balance sheet pnl are available in the best formats and they're also available in schedule 3 formats so all in all while i have been auditing these clients for three or more than three years uh, on Zoho. I have been able to find out mistakes very easily. And as and when every year I use it, I also get more comfortable with the software and I know how I can find out exceptions or what are the mistakes that the client is generally making. I can do like a detailed hour two hour three hour long discussion on this so if you want that let me know in the comment section below maybe i'll do a master class so that it becomes really easy for you guys to audit or you can also join my regular courses where you learn about zoho books in detail so that audit doesn't become a problem for you so hope you understood or you have a better understanding of how zoho works and how to do an audit on zoho books and if this video helps you let me know in the comment section down below if there's any section that you're unable to audit you're unable to understand how to go about it let me know in the comments below and i will try to make maybe a shorter video about it so that it reaches out to all of you and so that it makes it easier for all of you my name is Nikita and I will see you in the next video.